Now this next category of techniques is called poksik joksul. Poksik joksul means combination kicking. What we're doing here is we're kicking at least more than once, in other words, at least twice with the same foot. What happens is as you're kicking, let's say for example I kicked in this direction, this would expose my opponent's targets as he would react to that kick. If I kicked that way, he would maybe possibly block it down, exposing a higher target, right? Or possibly if I kicked to the high target first, then that would expose maybe a low target. Or maybe even kicking in front of him, it would expose the rear of his, of his head. Or if I kicked to the back of him, it exposes the inside line of him. So by being able to kick more than once with the same foot, it will allow you to open up different targets. For that, what you're going to need is control over your kicking knee. The higher you bring up your knee, the easier it's going to be for you to kick. If your knee only comes up so high to kick any higher, your foot will swing and it's more difficult, it's slower, it, re it requires more energy, you have a swing rather than a snap. These kicks are going to be very fast, very snappy. So you need to chamber your leg, certainly for practicing, learn to develop balance and hold your balance keep that kicking knee up and then work combination kicks, series of kicks using a uh, single leg. From starting off with two kicks, three kicks, four kicks, you can hold on to a wall and then just practice kicking, kicking, kicking and so on and so forth. So you'll develop hip strength and the ability to kick different angles. Okay? Let's discuss those angles. Let's say for example, we'll go with the front kick. After I did my initial front kick, by maintaining control of my kicking knee, I can reposition my body and then possibly come out in a different angle. Maybe out in here for a chop kick, right? Looks something like this. Front chop, right? I might decide to go from that front kick, keep control over this, bring it around on this angle for a hook kick. So something like this, right? <clears throat> you might take those side angles and work them. For example, bring the chop kick and loop it back around for the hook kick. So bring that chop kick, open it expose that line and bring the hook kick around. Or from the very beginning, bring that hook kick and then brings out that chop kick line opening, right? So this way, okay? Now, <clears throat> you can also utilize other kicks. For example, a side kick, which is also a straightward forward type of a kick. And from in here, you can go this way or this way with the chop kick or with the sa'a with a hook kick, or even with another side kick if you're so inclined, right? This is just kicking twice now. For example, this, or using the hook kick, right? Now, you can utilize <coughs> circular type kicks. Right now, so far, we're coming straight in our target. You can utilize circular type kicks, such as a crescent kick or an inside out, we call antari, or pakatari, right? <coughs> But now what you're going to do is put a flex on the knee so you now regroup that kicking knee, remember. So say for example, the kick was in here, now I can bring my side or in here, go with the chop or even from in here, bring it around this way. That's coming from this uh, angle, circular fashion. You can reverse all that. The same holds true for the other side. Just keep control of that kicking knee, and you can bring it back around. In here, possibly, right? Again, this is just kicking once. You can start kicking as many times as you can with that same leg. Now, all of these kicks, you can combine kicks using the other leg as well, right? You can start mixing up different kicks, right? Or you can even kick with that same leg again, putting it down and then continuing to kick with it. Or even if, you're, if you can, start spinning with it as you wish, right? These kicks will expose a number of different targets which you can utilize to take advantage of kick again with, which is a very powerful tool. Or close, use your hands. Or vice versa, start with hands and start exposing things with your, with your kicking techniques. Now, right now we're attacking mostly high line. You can attack low, bring it around high. You can attack high, bring it down to a low line. For example, uh, let's say I bring a low chop kick, bam, right to his thigh or to the groin. Pow, bring it around with a hook kick, right? Or even just doubling up that chop kick, 
pow, pow, right? Bringing it around. You can start off with high, then come down low, pow, and then go down low, right? And you can mix them up. High, low, middle. High, low, high, right? Middle, low, high, and so on. So start mixing up your kicks, combine them, see where they lead you, practice.